guys this will be my first my first wig review <laughs> um yeah but this unit does come from rpg shows sister site myfirstwigs.com this is the unit i'll let you guys know everything you'll get with it i did get a wig cap with mine some bobby pins which was very helpful a rat tail comb and some clips with this one um, I also got a brochure or some sort of like an information guide which is going to help you guys with taking care of your units and this wig head which is perfect okay so I'm absolutely digging this packaging RPG show or my first wigs really stepped it up with this one this is the unit that I did get this is their Tiffany unit which is called the MFC002 this is the way the hair looks straight out the pack it looks really straggly okay so when you order this wig this is the way your wig will look okay but I'm gonna be showcasing to you guys what I do with my curlier units to get it to look the way it looks I do this with all of my curlier units okay what you guys just saw was a few of my favorite conditioners that I use I'll make sure to link it down below but the unit or the conditioner that I'm using today is by Joyco and it's called their silk results I got it from like Marshall's I think it works really good with curly units okay I'm just going to wet the hair and then comb through it. You guys, this hair has a strong, strong corn chip smell. So in order to neutralize that smell, use the coldest water possible, okay? I found that that works for me, okay? This is the amount of shedding that I did get. It is not too bad, but the water was muggy. So I do recommend you guys washing your hair before you wear it, okay? Because it does have some stuff in it. All right, so do a last rinse with cold water, as cold as you can stand it or as cold as your faucet will let, and just wring it out. And then I'm using my Eco Cocktail Creamy Gel. I really like this because it is a cream consistency, but it's also a jelly. So it's not super hard of a hold. It gives you a hold, but it gives you also silk or soft results, all right? I'm just going to take a towel, just a normal towel, and I'm going to lay the hair on it, all right? Scrunch your ends upward, all right? That's what's going to give you that wash and go, voluminous, super curly look. If you don't do this, your hair will fall very limp, very wavy, and you're gonna be wondering why your hair doesn't look like mine, all right? My hair did dry overnight, so uh, make sure you are watching for it or you can put a fan on it, that helps too. This is the way the hair looks once it's completely dried, all right? I went ahead and got that lace off and this is what the construction looks like. If you're familiar with RPG Show's construction, it looks very similar, all right? Go ahead and get that wig on. I did get mine in the small cap and I do find that their small caps do work with big head people because my head isn't big but I do have a lot of hair so it works very well for me. I'm going to use some of my Crema Nature Perfect Edges just to lay down my edges as well as the um, wigs baby hair and use some of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I do have mine in the color Dark and I apply it in the part as well as inside of the wig. I didn't show that part, but I do put some on the inside of the wig and it looks very natural. But then again, all RPG show wigs look natural, okay? <laughs> Um, you see those ear tabs? What I do is I tuck them in and then I bobby pin it down. If you're not somebody who likes to wear the combs in your unit and you don't put elastic bands or the elastic straps in, do this method. It really, really holds the wig in place and it does not slip back. So just tuck them in and bobby pin it down. Now I'm using my wide tooth comb just to add some extra volume because my hair did dry a little flat on top. So that's going to give me some nice volume and make those curls look big. Again, you guys, this is a loose curly wig. I do have mine in the 18, or no, I'm sorry, the 20 inch, right? So yeah, the it falls around my boob area. So yeah, if you want something shorter, get a shorter length, all right? Um, I did some framing because I wasn't feeling that middle part, but I recently did another wash and go video on a wig and I had a side part, so I wanted to do something different. So this is the way the hair looks like on me after I did a little bit of trimming and did some picking at the hair. To me, it looks extremely natural. Again, you guys, I will insert a picture of what the hair looks like if you were to allow the hair to dry 
on a mannequin head just going straight down. It doesn't look anything like this. So if you purchase this wig and you're wondering to yourself, my hair doesn't look like yours because I do a special washing method to get my hair to look both voluminous and curly. I love curly, curly hair, hair that looks like our own, all right? So it does have a lot of movement and the color in this unit is just a virgin brown color so it hasn't been color processed okay so anyways you guys i'm truly loving this wig again it comes from myfirstwigs.com let me know what you guys think all the information will be listed down below bye guys